my proteins, I would like to look at two simultaneous equations, and in particular, the method of substitution. So I'm going to do exercise 5 on page 55, and I'm going to be looking at sum number 2 and 3. So for number 2, it looks like this one over here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to find out which one of the two equations will be easiest to work with. So when I actually look at my very first one, this one will be the easiest to work with because the variable y is all alone. It doesn't have a coefficient, so it will be easiest to work with this one. So what I will be doing is I will be calling this equation equation A, and then the next equation will then be equation B. So when I actually work with equation A, I'm going to write it down. So I'm going to say 3x minus y equals to 2, and I'm going to solve for y. So y will then be equal to 3x minus 2. And I'm going to put it in brackets because later I would need to substitute this value instead of y. So I'm going to call this c. Now, when I substitute something, I need to make sure it's in brackets. And then the second thing is I cannot substitute it into a because the reason for this is if I substitute it back into the equation that it comes from, it will actually cancel out. So it won't actually help that I'm doing that. So I will be substituting it into equation b. So whenever I do something, I need to write down what I'm doing. So I'm going to say substitute C into B. So let's do just that. Let's then write down equation B, which is 7x minus 2y equals to 8. So that's equation B. Now instead of seeing y, I want to see 3x minus 2. So instead of seeing this y over here, I need to see 3x minus 2. So 7x minus 2 and then in brackets 3x minus 2 equals to 8. Now I'm going to distribute my negative 2 so I have 7x minus 6x plus 4 equals to 8. So when I now solve for x it is very easy I have 8 minus 4 so x is then equal to 4. So now I've actually properly solved for x so I'm going to just call this d because I want to use that again. So I can then substitute D into either A or B. Now I'm going to choose A because A is quite a simple equation to work with. So when I write down equation A, A I have 3x minus y equals to 2. And instead of now seeing an x, I want to see 4. So instead of seeing this x, I need to see 4. So I'm substituting again into brackets. And then I have... 3 and then brackets 4 minus y equals to 2. So 12 minus y equals to 2. So if I solve for y, I have y equals to 12 minus 2. So 10 is equal to y. Now I have properly solved for x and for y because for c over here, I've not solved for y completely. I've only solved for y in terms of x. So now I have a proper answer for x and a proper answer for y. And then I can actually go ahead and just finalize that x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 10. And then that is my final answer. Looking at number 3, again you need to try and find out which one of your two equations will be easiest to work with. And when I look at the second one over here, this one will be easiest to work with because the variable x is all alone without a coefficient. So when you name them, it will again be easiest to name this one A and then the first one actually B because you're going to work with the second one first. So when I look at A, I'm going to solve for X. So I'm going to say X minus 2Y equals to the negative one, which is equation A. So X is then actually equal to negative 1 plus 2Y. And I'm going to put it in brackets because I need to substitute that later. So I've solved for x in terms of y, and I'm going to call this one c. Now, again, I cannot substitute c into a, because when I do that, this is the equation that it comes from, so that will end up cancelling out, and you don't actually then have a proper answer at all. So we need to substitute c into b. So whenever I do something, I need to write down what I'm doing. So I'm going to say substitute c into b. So let's write down equation B. It's 3x plus 5y equals 2x. And this is equation B. So 
what's now going to happen is that I don't want to see X. I want to see that highlighted part. So instead of seeing the X, I need to see the highlighted part. So I have negative 1 plus 2Y and then plus the original 5Y equals to 8. Now I'm going to distribute that 3. So I have negative 3 plus 6Y plus 5Y equals to 8. So when I simplify this, I have 11y equals to 8 plus 3. So 11y equals to 11. Therefore, y is equal to 1. Now I'm going to call this one d. Because I need to substitute this again to get a proper answer for x. So I'm going to say let's substitute d into either a or b. But I'm going to choose a because the equation a is just a simple equation to work with. So let's write down equation A. It's x minus 2y equals to negative 1. And instead of seeing y, you want to see 1. So instead of seeing y, you want to see 1. So it's x minus 2 and then in brackets 1 equals to negative 1. So x minus 2 equals to negative 1 is then equals to where x is equal to negative 1 plus 2. So x is equal to 1. So now I've properly solved for x and y, not in terms of other variables, but all alone x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 as well. So I can just write that down. x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. And again, that is then my proper answer.